Hello everyone, welcome to Project Veritas headquarters in the infamous Wall of Shame, where the journalist reputations go to die, where journalists have to print retractions and corrections and articles questioning our ethics and integrity. Oftentimes, their ethics and integrity is in question. Today's retracto is number 358, nine? Nine. We have 359 retractions about me and Project Veritas. Raw story, I sound like Donald Trump, raw story. Quite frankly, you can tweet at him at Wirecan, W-I-R-E-C-A-N, Travis Getty, who wrote, there's a lot of stuff here. Cue the Retracto theme song. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Headline, quote, judge won't release info about FBI raid of right-wing Project Veritas founder's apartment. The reporter, if you want to call him that, for Raw Story wrote, quote, a federal magistrate judge ruled against the right-wing Project Veritas media outlet, at least they called us the media outlet, and will not release details about an FBI raid of its founder, according to Politico. The problem with that was it was... False. After it read, quote, a federal magistrate judge will not release details about an FBI raid of the founder of the conservative Project Veritas media outlet. So they got the facts wrong. They wrote in the before that Project Veritas made the request. It was actually the Reporters Committee who made the request. That's right. The Reporters Committee, which is a mainstream media lobbying organization that features people like Andrea Mitchell from NBC News, and Wolf Blitzer at CNN, their lawyers were advocating for release of this information about this unconstitutional and illegal raid against myself and my colleagues. I'm sorry, so what is this regarding? And actually, there are people in the media who are coming to our defense. Thank you, Kate Townsend, lawyer at the Reporters Committee, for writing that memo in our defense. But that wasn't the only fact that Raw Story got wrong. Like our friends over at Alternet, they're both incompetent and they can't write. Listen to this, quote, a district court judge in Manhattan is approved a request. That doesn't make any sense, but let's run with it. Filed by the Reporters Committee for Freedom of the Press to appoint a special master to oversee any searches related to the conservative group. <laughs> Wrong. The Reporters Committee didn't make that request. It was actually Project Veritas that asked for a special master and we were granted. A federal judge approved our request for a special master citing journalistic and First Amendment privileges, which is a very rare thing for a federal judge to appoint. That's a special overseer over the FBI, which obtained our materials because we are journalists. And that's why our revelations recently, talking about how they were uh, subpoenaing Microsoft for our emails and obtaining all of our emails prior to the special master, that's why this is such a big deal. They were effectively spying on journalists, and that's why organizations like the Reporters Committee are rallying to our defense. That's why this is such a grave constitutional issue. The Department of Justice's attack, the Biden Department of Justice's attack on journalists affects everyone, because the First Amendment is the amendment that makes all of our other rights in the Bill of Rights possible. There are so many raw story retractors. There's a pile on my desk. I'm so busy doing journalism, undercover work, and supporting my team out in the field. I don't even have time to film all these retractors. But we have, a, we have a corner of the wall of shame devoted only to raw story. We're going to be hanging these things from the ceiling. We have a new building, not the same building, restored building, restored wall of shame. And as you can see, the wall is being filled up uh, uh, by all these retractions. But all this can have been avoided if you just stuck to the facts. We could have avoided the frame, the alpaca, Mr. Travis Geddes. You're still on Twitter, but I'm not. That doesn't make any sense either. But stay tuned, because there's a lot more retractos for Raw Story to come. Retracto, the correction alpaca. I mean, when you think about it, uh, Travis Getty, uh, horrible people, horrible place, and some, I assume, are good journalists. Some of the worst I've ever seen, actually. Quite frankly, some of the best retractors I've ever seen. Quite frankly, I don't trust any. <laughs> All right, here we go.